Hi everyone, welcome to Ansible Learning Series for Networks Engineers. This is the seventh video on new Ansible Learning Series. In this video, we will see how to use Cisco IOS interfaces module for managing interface attributes. In the previous videos, we have seen how to send configuration from a text file, how to send configuration using lines options, then how to execute show commands, then how to use SSH key based authentication for communicating with Cisco devices. I'll be adding all these videos link in the description and notification. And in this video, we'll see how to use iOS interfaces module. The attributes supported in this module are description, the interface description, duplex. You can see the duplex options, full, half and auto. Then enable, enable is by default, yes. MTU of the interface name name is a mandatory field here then the speed interface speed and we have another two modules for interface management you can see here it is iOS L2 interfaces which use for configuring L2 parameters and in L3 we can configure IP address and all other L3 parameters now we will focus on iOS L2 interfaces here in the configuration state, you can see multiple choices. Merged. If you use merged, Ansible particularly won't execute any no command while pushing the config. This will try to merge the configuration. But if you use replace, Ansible knows where to give no. This we will understand more when we look into iOS L2 interfaces. For example, if we already have a VLAN configuration in a device and if you use replaced option and if you try to push the trunk config what it does ansible first will give no switch port access vlan and vlan id then it configures trunk but if you use merged this will add the trunk configuration on top of access vlan so we will have both configuration in same interface and overridden you should be careful while using this because uh, whenever you give overridden, you need to make sure you're giving all the attributes which is required for the devices in the playbook. Otherwise, this will try to overwrite all the attributes. For example, if you try to give overridden and if you're not giving management interface IP, then it will remove the management interface IP when you use L3 interfaces. But here in each module, if you use overridden or delete option, this will delete only the attributes what is available in particular module here if you do a delete this will delete only these parameters you will see those in detail so this will delete description duplex enable mode but this won't delete the interface ip but if you do delete in l3 interfaces this will delete interface ip and you will have the connectivity issue to the device so let's uh, start writing a playbook. So here I'll create a new file and call that as 07. iOS interface dot YAML. And this part we can copy and paste. I'm going to use the same routers which I used in the previous video. And here I'll give the name interface configuration. And the module name is going to be iOS interfaces and under that we will see the options available we need to give config we give config then under that we can give multiple interfaces so so name is a mandatory parameter
I log into the device. I'll copy gigabit zero slash one interface name. And we'll see other parameters. So we can add description, duplex, and speed. We'll configure all these parameters. So before that, we'll verify the configuration. So duplex is auto here and speed also is auto so we'll configure so you can see the description we'll change this description as well description will give and so we'll configure enable details uh, yes by default so we'll give speed will give 1000 and here the state we will give merged merged is the default state So this will try to merge the configuration with device. Now we will check the syntax. We will try running the playbook now. Yes, so here you can see the status changed. So earlier our configuration was this. So we will see the configuration now. You can see here the duplex has changed to full and speed is 1000. Now we will see how to do the configuration state deleted. Okay, before deleting it, we will see what are the commands it is getting executed. So, for that. We will register this as a variable. This is just a variable name. Then under debug, we will have a variable. So there are multiple states here so return values so what we do this variable we have we are storing the complete output into interface int so what we can do int dot before this will print the interface state before the before state of the execution int dot commands you can give after now we'll try to 
make this interface configuration as default yeah now this is default so let us try running this playbook again So here now you can see the state. This is the before state before executing the configuration. You can see it is auto true and the speed is auto. And these are the command it executed. And here you should be able to see the gigabit 01 properties. Speed is 1000. Duplex is full and we can verify that in the running config as well so it is getting updated now we'll see how to delete the configurations so for that we can copy all these things i'll comment this task And here the same interface we are going to delete all these attributes not other attributes for example we will try configuring on IP address here And here the state will give as deleted so the same state will give and this also will register So this also will get registered as interface in production you can give the proper name for the variables and here we will print only the command so let us try running this So here it is giving known to all these configurations. Now we can verify the configuration here. This has not deleted the IP address because IP address is not part of this module. So this will delete only all these configurations. now we'll see how this overridden state works once you give overridden all the value the value pairs whatever you have given in the playbook it is going to push to the device and ansible is going to assume that that is the expected config for all the interfaces so let us just write overridden and 
simply we will give some configuration state enabled I will give yes state overridden now to verify that what we can do we will configure two more interfaces here with some descriptions because description attribute is part of this module two and three i'll configure some description here in this overridden statement I haven't mentioned those two interfaces anywhere and I'm just seeing that okay overwrite the config so let us just try running this playbook Earlier we had description here for 0 slash 3 and 2. Now we will verify the config. You can see it has deleted all the config from 2 and 3 as well. All the attributes what is supported in this module. This will delete all and it will push only the values whatever we have defined here. So if you want to retain the description of 2 and 3 you need to specifically give those details here. Now we'll see some details about replaced. Here there is not going to be much difference between replaced because anyway when we configure a speed or duplex it is going to execute on top of that and it that will get replaced by default. This you will understand more when we configure L2 interface. Let me copy this part, the merged config part and I'll put it here. And here instead of merged, we can give a replaced. And we will try running it. So here it is executing all these commands in the device and we can verify the config here. So this has configured all the conf uh, all the details. I hope uh, this video was helpful for you to understand iOS interfaces and different configuration states and printing different return values and in the next video we will see how to use iOS L2 interfaces module for configuring L2 parameters. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.